Hi there, my name's Andy Sykes, otherwise known as Hexjibber. I'm a award-winning animator and I also teach flash animation in universities and colleges here in the UK. This is my website, hexjibber.com, and uh, here's the lesson. Hi, in this lesson I'm going to explain how to draw basic shapes in flash. If we go over here to the rectangle tool, just zoom in on that, you can see that if I hold down the left mouse button, there's a whole selection of different uh, tools that you can use. There's ovals, uh, there's polystars. These are all good ways of getting very basic shapes in Flash. But to start off, I'm going to draw a rectangle, like so. You can see when you're drawing a rectangle, you hold down the left mouse button to pull out a shape. If you hold down Alt, it'll draw from the center. If you let go of Alt, it'll draw from the corner. If you hold down shift, it'll draw a perfect shape. If you let go of shift, you'll be able to squidge it around like so. So there we go, we've got a pretty perfect square there. Now there's two options when you're drawing a shape. You can see here that I've got a fill and a stroke. But if I wanted to have this as just an object that I can move all together without selecting it, then when I created it, click here on the rectangle tool, but down here, there's something called object drawing. I'll just zoom in on that. Object drawing, let's click on that, makes whatever you draw into a drawing shape. So if I draw a rectangle, it'll have this kind of box around it. That means that I can't select the fill or the stroke independently. It just all moves around as if it were a group. So moving on, if I want to draw a different shape, I can hold down the left mouse button on the rectangle tool and choose the oval tool and equally if I hold down shift I get a perfect circle if I let go of it I can get a kind of squished oval and if I hold down alt it'll draw it from the center if I let go of alt it'll draw it from a corner so there we go that's the circle so next up the polystar tool now you get some extra options for this so I'm going to bump up my properties dialog here and you can see that Whilst I have the Polystar tool selected, I get some options down here, tool options. I'm gonna click on that, and you get tool settings. At the moment, it's just gonna draw a polygon for me, but I could change it to a star. And you can change the amount of sides on your polygon. At the moment, it's five, um, and the point size of your star. Let's just draw a polygon to start off with and equally hold down shift to make it perfect. Um, or you can hold down Alt to draw it from the center. In fact, I think it always draws it from the center if it's polystar. So there we go, we've got a nice polygon there. If I wanted to draw a star, click on the polystar tool and change it to star. Number of sides, five, star point size, 0 0.50. Right, just draw you a nice star. And as you turn around the mouse, that'll dictate what the star looks like. So there you go. Other options, if I delete what we've got there, you've got rectangle primitive tool. And we'll keep these properties open for the moment. If I draw a rectangle with this tool, you've got options on uh, how rounded the corners are. At the moment, the corners aren't very rounded, but if I change this here, you can see that our corners are becoming very rounded. If I slide it all the way back over here, we can do the opposite of rounding them, which pulls them inwards. So you can create some really cool shapes with that. And so in the middle, if you have the value zero, if you click on reset, it'll just be completely square. So that's another cool way of getting shapes. And there's a oval equivalent of that, an oval primitive tool. If I draw an oval, You've got your oval options down here, start angle, so if I alter that, this is basically a way of either drawing Pac-Man or <laughs> um, making pie charts. So you can fiddle around with those and get some really cool shapes, or draw Pac-Man in a radius. So you can have sort of, if you wanted to make a hoop, that's how you do it, or the letter C. So those are some cool little tools for drawing shapes. That's it for now, uh, I'll see you next time. Hey, if you've enjoyed this lesson, 
why not consider checking out my website, hexjibber.com, where you can also buy my book, The Hexjibber Coloring and Activity Book. You can buy it in the UK, US, Germany, France, Japan, from Amazon and other good stores.